السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. Month of Ramadan. What a beautiful month. A spacious month. Virtuous month. Month of mercy. Month of remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Obviously it is the month that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will forgive so many of his bondsmen. And so many of his bondsmen, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will deliver them from the fire of hell. So what can we do in the month of Ramadan? Well, obviously in the month of Ramadan, we have to, the most important thing, we have to fast in the month of Ramadan. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa said in a very authentic hadith, Man sama Ramadan, iman and wahtisaba, ghufira lahu ma taqaddama min lambi. The one who fast in the month of Ramadan with iman and with ihtisab, with faith and with the, with the hope that Allah Azza wa will personally reward him, then all his past sins will be forgiven. Don't you we want our sins to be forgiven, respected viewers? Obviously, therefore, in this month of Ramadan, we need to make this firm intention that I will ma make no excuses to miss the fasting in the month of Ramadan. You know, some people, they don't even know if they're going to live another Ramadan. Some people, you know, they have passed away and they will be thinking that Allah give us the chance to come back to the dunya again so that we could offer all the commandments and we could abstain from all the prohibitions. So respected viewers, in this month of Ramadan, we are not going to be one of those who will be looking for excuses to miss the most important fundamentals of Islam. Okay, because fasting is a pillar of Islam. Don't be like one of those who breaks a pillar of Islam because if you do that, you will be away from the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Respected viewers, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa has emphasized so much and mentioned so much virtues of, of Ramadan. Subhanallah, can we not act upon these virtues of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? Can we not act upon these commandments of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? So unless you are exempted because you are underage or because you are a traveler or because you are ill or other reasons, okay, you should be fasting. Okay, you should be fasting because you know why? Because subhanAllah, he mentioned in a very authentic hadith that on the day of Qiyamah, it's a hadith Qudsi by the way, that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa said that Allah Azza wa he says, As-sawmu li wa ana ajzibi. The fasting is for me and I shall reward for it. SubhanAllah, Allah, say, Allah didn't mention what kind of reward he's going to give. He didn't mention that I'm going to give him this or that. He said, I shall reward for it. Allah Azza wa is saying here that I will be calling my servant on the day of Qiyamah and I personally will be rewarding them. We don't want to be one of those people that on the day of Qiyamah, Allah will be calling them and everyone will be getting this personal reward from Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala. They will be getting it from Allah Azza wa and guess what? So and so and many of those people will be deprived from that blessing. We don't want to be one of those. So don't make any excuses, brothers and sisters, that you know you will miss out the fast. Inshallah, Allah start preparing mentally and psychologically and spiritually. Start preparing for it. That inshallah, Allah, this Ramadan, I would not miss a single fast. Some people, they say that, you know what? The days are so long. How I am going to keep that fasting? Subhanallah, there is an amazing hadith mentioned that there will be from the there are eight gates of jannah in jannah in paradise there are eight gates from those eight gates one of the name of the gate is called ar rayyan and the hadith says that in that gate only the sa'imun those who to observe the fast of ramadan or the fasting person they will be enter into that gate into jannah what's the meaning of rayyan is very interesting here the word rayyan is actually means an area that is uh, has a lot of water abundant of water Okay, because the person who is fasting, he is atashan, he is always thirsty, okay, uh, he's always thirsty, his body is dried, his lips are dried. So what happens, the gate is very interesting is that the gate is called ar -rayyan, okay. Basically you enter through this gate because of your sacrifice, because you are fasting for long hours, now you will enjoy. Now Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give you, rabbuhum sharaban tahura. Now Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will make you drink. You will be surrounded by water in this beautiful Jannah, you have water for drinking okay there will be milk for drinking there will be honey as well for you to consume and there will be also pure halal liquor as well which is not going to intoxicate you this is prepared for you in the jannah for a little bit of sacrifice that we will be doing in this dunya so don't say that the hours are very long and it's going to be very tough you know why because if you have faith iman when you have ihtisab and you believe that you will be person you'll get reward from allah then this fasting will be very very easy for you it's all up to us when we make this kind of intention inshallah and when we when we make this firm intention it will be very easy for us to fast inshallah and we'll be entered through the babu rayyan you know what there are so many people even in our days they don't even have food to every day every day is for them is fasting we ask allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give us all the tawfiq 
to make the best out of this, this month of Ramadan so that we could fast the way the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the way the companions have fasted, the way the righteous people have fasted so that we will be resurrected with them on the day of Qiyamah. Jazakumullahu khairan. Oh,